Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be going over how to insert templates into your digital planner. Today I'm going to be using my black and white leopard landscape planner to demonstrate um, and my newly released templates. So I released six templates um, in total, a horizontal, a vertical, and an hourly in both a black and white and a colorful colorway. Um, so those um, specific templates were designed for the black and white leopard landscape and the pink leopard landscape planners, but they can be kind of cropped and adjusted to fit whatever uh, digital planner that you're using because they are PNG files. But um, today I'm going to show you how to use them uh, like they were intended, like they were designed to be used in the leopard landscape planner. So I'm going to show you two different ways to insert templates. One, uh, they're both super easy. One way is even easier than the other. So we're going to start with that one first. And the first thing that you want to do is navigate to a blank page. And then you can go to your photos where you've stored your digital inserts. And I'm going to go with colorful vertical. So you can see, and then all you have to do is drag the little arrows in that bottom right corner and place it where you would like. And just like that, it's inserted and ready to use. Now, if you would like your weekly template spread to show up when you click on your weekly tab, um, it, you can do that as well. It just takes a little bit more work. So you will turn on your lasso tool and then go ahead and select a blank area in your planner. Click and hold on the inside bit of it and take a screenshot. So that just takes a screenshot of a white square. You can go ahead and save that image to your camera roll, grab it, and then resize it. And then you just want to do the same thing on the other side. You grab those handles, as you can see, there's like a little up and down arrow on the top. And so it stretches it top to bottom if you use that one. So you just kind of have to fiddle with it a little bit. And then you can use the one on the side as well. It messes it a tiny bit. And then you can just click off to another tool. To release your image okay and then you want to just go back to your pictures go find your template this time let's use the colorful hourly I love that one and then just as simply you want to grab that little arrow in the corner and pull it until you get to the size you want. Since this template is created specifically for this planner, you don't really have to mess with sizing too much. You're done, you're ready to go. One tip to keep in mind when you use templates, because they are images, um, when you use stickers, so I have my pumpkin spice and everything nice sticker set here. If I go and grab the sticker and I insert it, I can rearrange it and stuff right from the get-go, but say I leave it there and I click off. If I use just my lasso tool and select it, I'm going to move around everything on the page, right? So a way to get around this is to, instead of using your lasso tool, once your sticker is placed, it's to go ahead and click on your photo icon here. And then you can click resize and move around that sticker as you would like. And that it is so, so easy. 
If you have any additional questions, please don't hesitate to let me know. You can drop them below and go ahead and subscribe and like and do all the YouTube things. I'm hoping to be a little bit more um, up on this platform to post more. If you have any ideas, please don't hesitate to let me know. I want to do what you want to see. So I hope you enjoyed the planners and thank you for being here. Bye.